afternoon campers. It's that time of year again. It's April. A bit earlier than normal for getting out and having a bit of a camp. Apologies if there's a bit of a wind noise. I'm just doing this little intro clip on my phone before I set the action cams up and so on. But yeah, oldest friend is joining me. And we're doing some testing tonight. We're testing a few things. I've got the Winnowell stove, one Tigris iron wall tent, and I want to test the stove in the tent because I've never done that before. I've seen it done on YouTube, but you never know till you do things yourself, do you? It is a little bit in the public view here, but there's all this deadfall here, and I'm going to use that to create some kind of barrier between the trees, just to hide us a little bit. It's a bit of a trek through these woods, but worth it because it's so lovely here. Right, gotta get set up. Let's do it! No, I'm just going to put a jacket on and then put that on. So record it when I've done, because it's my work one. I don't really want work. <laughs> right, okay. Right, so oldest friend is here. There we go. He's got himself set up. The barrier that I created is working nicely. It's a bit of a camo barrier. And it's just to shield us a bit, because normally when we come here, there's a lot of undergrowth and there's no over undergrowth at the moment so as you can see i've got the one tigress iron wall set up i haven't set the chimney up fully yet purely because it's a little bit glinty in the sun glint eastward glint eastward yeah so let's step inside and have a look oh look at this so there's all my junk on that side including this which i'll be testing out in the field tonight you might have seen the review for that. The stove's here. I've done a review on that before, so I'm looking forward to testing that for real. And then in the tent, Ains and I are doing two separate tests tonight. So obviously I'll be in the hot tent. Come on, up you come. Right. We're actually both using pod sleeping bags. And I've got a, a goose down, 500 fill blanket for extra warmth and a fleece and it's on top of a tomite air mat you might have seen the review for that and then that's just some closed cell laminate flooring uh, underlay that goes all the way around and I've given Ains a piece of that too just to insulate us from the floor tonight it is April and it's anticipated to get down to about one degree tonight so with the wind yeah zero so let's just have a quick look in Ainsley's tent at the minute. It's, it's it's a bit of a mess, not because of him, but because the dog's been in making it a mess. Yes. So she's been foraging around and moving that around. Well, yeah, that's Ainsley's pod sleeping bag. So he's going to be testing that on top of a mat to see how that fares up with one degree temperature. So hey, I'll look. Be, I'll be in the cold tent. He's in the cold tent and I'm in the hot tent. Yeah. So we're just testing stuff out tonight to see if it works. And I'm also going to be testing out this Wolf Grizzly fire pit. Because this is actually our previous fire pit from last year. Where we, the rocks are actually just so that we knew where it was. But the turf that's underneath that, there is actually underneath there the embers from last year's fire. But as you can see the grass is growing on that anyway. Can you show us how that works? What, the fire pit? Yeah. I've done that actually in another video. Oh right, okay. Um, but yeah. So... We're good to go. Now it's just a case of getting some wood ready for both the fire pit and the stove. 
so we can get things going because the temperature's just starting to drop. What time is it now? It is 6.06, 18.06. 18.06. As you can see, the sun's out. It is bright, but the temperature's starting to drop. It is. The reason I put that barrier there is because just overhead in the distance there is a farmhouse and normally you can't see us from here because of the undergrowth and that's all deadfall that had fallen around this area and I just thought I'll just create a little barrier. Yeah, yeah don't ask. <laughs> Enjoying yourself Nate. Making wood for the fire. Yeah she just uh, she's our twig breaker. Yep. <laughs> I mean, what we can do with the bits afterwards, I have no idea. But, uh, <laughs> there we go. It's one of those. Uh, she's she's helping. She's helping. Yeah, she's the uh, additional help. That's yes. it. Break it down, girl. Break it down. <laughs> so yeah, we're just having a quick one nighter because uh, we don't want to totally bosh our weekends in case things go a little bit horribly wrong. But as you can see, it is lovely here. It's so quiet and serene. Normally in summer last year you couldn't really see the other side of the valley but you can actually see it through the trees now. Normally it's a bit more there's a bit more growth. But we're not at that time of year yet. Anyway, I think we'll speed up the next bit where I chop some wood up. What do you reckon? I reckon so. Doing the uh, lazy way today. <laughs> that didn't mess about, did it? It didn't, did it? Oh, this is nice and crumbly. This should like quite well. That would probably have been better, wouldn't it? You think? Yeah. Because I'm just thinking of the smoke going in my tank. <laughs> It's still movable. Oh, I just killed it. <laughs> it's all good. Plus, there's the cheap liquid. Yeah. That's surprising how warm that is. You're sorry. That's surprising how warm that's just because. Yeah. That's starting to catch now. Good. Yeah. Starting to catch. Yeah. Oh, not quite like the Malian spouts, but no, definitely not. Whip around a little bit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> now you're interested. It must be called just bloody steam coming out of the job. <laughs> that is actually really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oi! 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 No! <laughs> she just lit now. She's been in there scuffling it. <laughs> You've scuffled my bedding. Come on out. Oi! Lisa. Out. Come on, little rascal. Bloody bed stuff left. I don't think I'm going to be putting holes in my mat with you. Daggers for claws. If I leave that with a low airflow, that should just take nicely. Mm. Fuck hell. What? <laughs> Jesus. There's smoke coming out the top already. Yeah. That's good. I like that. No, I've a gander. Hey! Wait! Watching ya! Wait! Watching ya! Mm-mm. Are you just trying to look? Try getting him. Come on, oi! Need to out. Need to! Come on, off! Need to out. No. Just flash the bloody uh, clothes in there. Yeah. Hey, you can pull holes in the mesh. I don't know what it is about your tent. 
I know. She loves it, doesn't she? Mm. I think it's just because it's somewhere different, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's looking quite good, isn't it? Mm. Shall we burn a little bit more and then cook? Yeah. Although, to be fair, I don't think you really need to burn them. Oh dear. No, no, I mean, not for cooking, but I'm just quite yeah. enjoying the burning. Yeah. <laughs> quite enjoying the little fire thing going. Plus, you know, we, we haven't just had the salad. It's like, oh, I'm not totally hungry yet. But yeah. it didn't take long to create something you could cook up, did it? No. Yeah. You know, some kind of glowers. Caveman TV. Mm. Rumbelows. Remember that? Rumbelows. Bloody hell. There's a name from the 70s. You could hire a TV. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, I'm looking at me like I'm a coon. <laughs> Well, right, but I mean, you don't need to be looked at like one. <laughs> I don't think I'll put that in the edit. <laughs> in fact, I think the, all we're going to get is just a camera full of smoke. There'll be a lot of that, yeah. The same size, so it's easily confused for us. Oh! <laughs> Did you hear that? What? Are you ready? You know, you lick it, and you're like, put it in hot air. I didn't hear it go. Can you see that it zing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's warm. I think it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you know the uh, batteries that, for these? The battery in the uh, holders. Little plastic square batteries. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do them for work. I put uh, a sweetener in and some coffee and take it to work. Good point, Batman. Yeah. Yeah, it's in there. It is seven twenty five. The sun is setting, and Carlos is just uh, hooking up some shit. <laughs> 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 Some food. Pooch is down here with me. Up here with me. Down here with me. Oh, she's sweet. getting a bit cold, so we put Blanky out for her. Blanket. Blanket. Yeah, okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, a little bit. Oh, it's a cousin of me. Right. So, what's uh, on for tonight's delicacy? It's a mixed bag, because I didn't realise I was supposed to be providing tea. <laughs> well, you did, because I did say I'll bring stuff for breakfast. You said, right, well, I'll bring stuff for tea. You said, I don't recall saying that. Well, you won't do. Look, just because my memory's convenient. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe I just made it up. <laughs> I think that's what actually happened. <laughs> But the good thing is, it's just a one night and we're not going to die and we've always got plenty of breakfast stuff if push comes to show. Well, yeah. And cereal bars. And cereal bars. <laughs> yeah. Can we cook cereal bars? Oh, I But you could warm them up. Yeah, that's true. So, yes, so we're just uh, sitting here. It's... What's the temperature, shall we? Seven at the minute. Seven centigrade uh, for people who use old money that is uh, around 44 Fahrenheit. Double it and add 30. Carl's uh, pregnant oven is... It seems to be doing all right. Oh, I actually went higher than what I thought and then I realised it was part of the tree. <laughs> uh, there. So it seems to be doing all right. It's like a little um, Stevenson's rocket in your tent. <laughs> yeah. Just a bit like that, yeah. Right, let's uh, see what happens. 
we won't see what happens later because we just know what's going to happen anyway. It's just going to get dark. <laughs> that's usually how night. That's how night usually works. Yeah. Hello. 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 It's Hi. chilly. Oh, no. Has Carl got a dog? No, he hasn't. No. <laughs> I am the dog. He said it is the dog. But let me grant though, she she do, I mean, she doesn't look eighty. Hello. 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 Trouble I've seen, nobody knows but Jesus. <laughs> nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Glory, hallelujah. Christ, he's gone all fucking village or something. <laughs> <laughs> he's lost it. Yeah. Not that he ever had it. Carl, it's starting to burn the edges of the... Did it actually burn that? Cause yeah. Yeah. And oh. smoking. Yeah, I noticed that's a bit weird, isn't it? Unless it just does it to caught, like a cauterising and then... Yeah, because this is a silicon jack. Oh. Yeah. When I clogged that earlier, I just thought, that's a bit odd. But there's nowhere else, really. I don't think, if I'm mistaken, I don't think I can kind of move it. Let's just see if it makes a difference if I just shuffle it away a little bit. There's not really anywhere I can kind of move it to. That'd be about, that looks okay for me. Does it? Yeah. Is it warm though? Yeah. Well, well the stove is, but the tent isn't yet. Yeah. Well, you can feel the heat coming from it. Yeah. Morning campers, it's about six o'clock in the morning and as you can see it's a little bit frosty in the fields. The thermometer in my tent said it got down to about two, well that was with the stove on. Yeah, what I found with that stove is there are, there's a little bit of a misnomer I think because below the stove Cold. Above the stove, warm. Did you just trump? No. Sounded like it. So yeah, they're a bit funny those. God, it looks great across the valley with the sun coming up. Through the trees. Right, I'm just gonna talk through. Yeah, I think I'm there now, aren't I? Yeah. I'm just going to talk through the setup that I used last night. Uh, I've got oldest friend on the camera, pointing and shooting at stuff uh, while I talk through. So I was in the One Tigris iron wall uh, with the stove jack in. Didn't expect the stove jack to actually burn, but it did. However, at one point, and I think I might include this in the footage if I actually managed to capture it, the chimney and the <laughs> stove did get red hot. In places that was quite astounding actually wasn't it Ains? it was yes yeah um it's a bit of a surprise but what i have found and um, the ash catcher at the top of the chimney is insufficient it probably needs some mesh or something around that because some of the embers have come out and they have actually put small holes you actually won't be able to find one now <laughs> there's a there's one there there is actually burn marks in the tent. I don't know whether that's showing up. Maybe not. But there is actually holes in it now. Um, overall, I'm actually not impressed with this tent as a hot tent. Come inside and I'll show you why. Right. I know this has been said in other videos, but the zip is on the wrong side. 
The sleeping bag zipper is on this side, and so you need that side to open up too, and it doesn't, because that means you can only have the stove in one position, and consequently you lose all that space at the back, it's just unusable, absolutely unusable. Whereas if you could turn the stove round into that corner and unzip this section, you'd actually have a lot more of the tent available. So yeah, in that respect, it's, it's naff. And it's a great little tent. I just don't rate it, I just don't rate it as a hot tent. I really don't, which is a bit of a shame. Um, to Mike Matt, that worked really well last night. Ains will tell you about his pod experience in a minute. I used this pod sleeping bag as I mentioned and inside it I had this, I can't remember the brand name, it's because it's a bit, a bit of a funny one. Zephyrback. Zephyrback, yeah. Zephyrback Black 500 and it's a 500 fill down blanket. Cards on the table, I was really toasty warm and I didn't expect to be. But granted I did have, not this down jacket, but I did have a hoodie and three t-shirts on, one of which is long sleeved. And I did sleep in the crag hoppers with some um, leggings on underneath, some, some girly leggings. I think you've seen those in other videos. Jeggings. Some jeggings, yes. Um, effective, but... Uh, oh, and I had this on as well to keep my head warm. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. Right, so Ains was in his tent last night with his pod <laughs> sleeping bag. Which is this here. Tell us about your experience last night, Ains. What was warm, what was cold? Um, everything was cold and my feet were like blocks of ice. Now, the problem was that this particular tent is a bit too small for me now and my feet were here. Have you grown? Yeah, my feet <laughs> were here. And the problem being is overnight... <laughs> We got ice. Yeah, it's been a bit frosty in the night. So it's been extremely frosty. Now the sleeping bag itself, once you're in it, um, it is nice and warm considering it's just a summer sleeping bag. Did, did, did you have that blanket on as well in it? Uh, I put the blanket over it and right. wrapped it around my feet and then I decided to put it inside. Uh, but again, it was a little bit hit and miss because I had pooching the the sleeping bag with me and I couldn't get it in correctly because she just kept moving about so <laughs> it was a bit of a uh, she's a treasure isn't she she is yes but apart from that it was okay but as you can see the frost on the fields yeah as the sun climbs it's just clearing over the tops there isn't it yeah I wasn't expecting it to be as cold no um, it was supposed to get down to about one degree, wasn't it? Yeah, but I think it was a good minus one, minus two. Yeah. Uh, it, without a doubt. In my tent, hmm. the thermometer, which is now saying four degrees, was saying two at, uh, in the night. And that was with the, the, the thermometer at the other side of me, away from the stove. Right. Um, but... Still, obviously, you're going to get a little bit of heat from the stove. Yes. But what I did find with that stove was the heat rose to the top of the tent, and underneath the stove, it's cold. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. Right. Okay. It's early doors. What is it now? Still, it's only about six. Coming up to seven o'clock, isn't it? Six fifty. Six fifty. Yeah. yeah. So what we're going to do is it's going to be a short video. This one. It was literally just to try a few things out, test a bit of winter camping, wasn't it? Yeah. See how it went. And uh, and then I'm going to we're going to cook some breakfast and then book her off. Yeah, into the warm. <laughs> go go home and get warm. <laughs> get yeah. warm, yeah. I'm just going to lozenge, lozenge, <laughs> lozenge, lozenge. <laughs> I've got a lozenge on the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> My brain's still frozen. I'm going to lozenge on the sofa all day today and watch Marvel films or something. <laughs> lozenge. I don't know about you, but I've never heard of anybody lozenging before. <laughs> Beautifully done. <laughs> it doesn't help that my fingers are that cold. They're just not working. But the good thing is, at least you're not making it look difficult. 
What was it recording about? You are. What were we recording about? What were we recording about? If anybody was watching this, they'd just think we were proper professionals. <laughs> Professional cock up. <laughs> Artists. Artists. <laughs> I have to say, I probably need some mesh in that chimney pipe. What? Light's gone off. The light's gone off? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's fine. Oh, is it just touch screen? Yeah. Alright, I'll have to do that again then. No, it doesn't matter, because it's still on. No, I mean, start from... <laughs> right. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> what I actually do find fascinating about a lot of the whole camping videos and stuff on YouTube is they all make it look so easy, don't they? Because you, you only ever see the edited kind of, the bits that they want you to see, the bits that they've, you know, jigged yeah. uh, and Rather set than up. The difficult bits like this. Yeah. <laughs> right, morning everybody. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is going on the blue for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Come on, he's trying to try and look slick. <laughs> <laughs> try and look what? Slick. Uh, Don't forget to look at camera. Uh. Oi, what are you doing? She's eating chewing the pegs. No, she's not chewing pegs. Right. Well, I don't even know what I'm doing now. Um, there. So the moral to this story is don't do it with fucking Go. gardening gloves. <laughs> camping, hot camping tip. Hot camping tip. Don't try and pack an air mat with gardening gloves. <coughs> Sporting stylish gardening gloves. 